Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and let's hope the sound is better today. I'm trying in accordance with advice yesterday to keep an eye on the uh, audio input capture um, feed to make sure there's no distortion, but it's, uh, it's quite difficult assimilating a new setup. So, well, it certainly is for someone as non-tech savvy as me. Anyway, here we are. We are going to be looking today at crevices by Celery. Celery has done some fabulous puzzles for the channel and sent us this one. And I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. It's an equal sum lines puzzle. Straightforward. Just that. Um, and if you want to do more line puzzles, the first thing you can do is... Our Patreon reward. Join us on Patreon. Uh, the September monthly reward is open until the 20th for people to enter. Um, lots of line and shape based puzzles and it's called Lines and Shapes. And you can win a cap which is part of our merchandise. So you can also check out our merchandise on the links under the video. But if you want to do more line puzzles you're going to have to wait till a bit later in the month for our line app to start. So loads of stuff coming out we always try and keep up to date with what's going on in the world of sudoku we have eight or nine well we have eight apps out already do check those out um, very good value handmade puzzles far better than you will get on the computer generated apps which proliferate so sadly uh, and one other thing to mention sven sudoku pad also on the links under the video but you can play this puzzle just by clicking on the first link under this video. And as I say, the rule set, absolutely straightforward. Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Each segment of a line within a different three by three box must sum to the same value. So for this line, look, it's all connected. That's one line. Those five cells add up to the same value as those two cells. Um, there's an extra rule that if a line re-enters the same box, it must also sum to the value for that line. So, oh, that applies here, doesn't it? That is going to be the same as those two, and the same as those two, and the same as those three. So N, in the case of this line, is represented by a total of those two there, those three there, that one there, and those two there. Don't try and add those three together. That's not what the rules say. Different lines, this is vital of course, may have different sums. So N, the um, line sum segment value, is potentially different for each line. Not necessarily different, but potentially different. Okay, give it a go. I. I managed to make those rules sound as complicated as they possibly could be, but nonetheless, they're not. And I am going to start the puzzle now and see how we go. Let's get cracking. So, um, I mean, the, the simple thing to do for me. Okay, let's start with lines which have one cell in one box and at least three in a well and three in another those three add up to that so it has to be six seven eight or nine the least these three cells could be is one two and three there's another one of those here where three cells here must add up to that which must therefore be six seven eight or nine and this line that we highlighted at the beginning that single cell so the, the N for those lines is always going to be 6, 7, 8, or 9. This one has only two cell pieces, as does that and that. This one is very wide open. Now, this one is interesting, though. Two cells there. The maximum they can add up to is 17 if they were a 9 and an 8. Five cells here, the minimum they can add up to is 15 if they were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we know that this N is 15, 16, or 17. These digits have to add up to at least 15, and therefore each of them has to be at least 6. And we are getting close to forming a triple in the row, but falling well short. Those digits obviously, well, are unlikely to come from 6, 7, 8, 9. One of them could be a 6 or a 7 if I'm being absolutely honest ah okay there's a 
So these five cells, right, that's quite interesting as well. These five cells, the minimum, so now I'm going to treat two lines together and see what that tells me. And in this case, it tells me that those five cells have to add up to at least 15 because they must be at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I know my triangular numbers up to 55 anyway. Um, so they have to add up to at least 15. And they, their, their value is represented by those two cells. So those two have to add up to at least 15. And therefore, this is now at least a 6 after all, this cell. And here we go again. Uh, not again. This is slightly a different case, and I wonder if you can see why. Um, those two cells were in the same row, so they had to be different. The two cells that represent the total of these five are in different rows, columns, and boxes, so they could be the same. And these, although they do have to add up to at least 15, hmm... Um, Actually, I suppose, again, they do force this to be at least a 6, because even if that was 9, this can only be 6. OK, the only difference between those two and these two at the moment is those two can't be the same, and these two can be. Um, they couldn't both be 6s. They'd both have to be 8s or 9s if that were the case. And, ah, uh, I mean, there's not a lot to go on. So... Now, this, this is an interesting shape. I'm actually wondering about set theory, but I don't think there's quite enough to go on. This shape is, is a very interesting shape for either an arrow or an equal sum line. And that's because this digit can't now go in any of these cells. It can't repeat on the line because it is the total n for this line. So it can't be in there with other digits. It can't be in those cells by Sudoku. So that cell is in one of these three. And it's also in one of these three. Now it would be fabulous if we could prove it was in one of these two because then it's going to have to be a six. And it's quite difficult for it to be a six. It can't be a 6. OK, here's why I think it can't be a 6. If this was a 6, that would be 1, 2, 3. Um, OK, here's why it can't... No, OK, I'm sorry. Here's why it can't be a 6 if it repeats down here. And it must be in one of those three cells. Oh! OK, it's OK. I can say it can't be a 6. It can't be a 6 repeating here, because those would have to add up to 12. It can't be a 6 repeating here, because if that was the case, these would have to be 6, 2, 1, adding up to 9. And if 6 was in one of these two cells, it would be in there with 1 or 2. But the 6 here would make this 1, 2, and 3, and that would clash with the 1 or 2 down here. So that's impossible. So now we've proved that this digit which has to be in one of these cells, cannot be a 6, because it can't be there, and it can't be there or there. So, there we go. That took ages to get to a relatively small deduction, probably. But we might need to do more like that in this puzzle. It is called crevices. We're probably going to have to find deductions that fit in the crevices of our thinking. Um, now, what next, though? Well, yes, next, of course. This is now 7, 8, or 9, which goes in one of these cells. But it can't go in either of these cells, because 7 is too big for this 3-cell sum. The other two would have to be at least 1 and 2, and that would make a total of 10, which would also have to go in this cell. Impossible. So this digit can't be in those two, but it must be in those three. It must be there. It can't be 7, because we now know it's the same digit in both places. And these can't only add up to 14. So it's not 7. If it's 8, that's a 2-6 pair. This is 1, 3, 4. If it's 8, this can be 9. 
probably would have to be. If that was 1, 3, 4, the minimum value for those two is 2 and 5. In fact, that won't even wash. They'd have to be 2 and 6, so that could be a 1. Ooh, that's interesting. I'd love it to have to be 8. And it's quite interesting. If it's not 8, it's 9. And if this yellow cell is 9, well, that's going to force some interesting things. This is going to be an 8-7 pair, because it has to add up to at least 15. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are adding up to 18. They're not the cells with the pressure on. Um, and this can't be 9 if yellow is 9. So now these only add up to 8 or less. Oh, I don't know. It feels very interesting, but it doesn't quite get me anything done. Um, I'm mm, going to need to think more about this. What is going on? Ah, oh, that yellow cell can't be here definitely because it would be on its own line. And x plus something does not equal x. There, I said a maths theorem. Um, as long as something can't be zero and it can't be. Now... It hasn't really proved anything, has it? Uh, I don't know. Well, I've got to think more about this one, maybe. Or maybe the confluence of these. So if that is... Well, if it's six or seven... These would be from one, two, and three... I feel we might, well, we're either going to get the very interesting situation of yellow being eight, and then we can fill in some of these and get some information here. Ah, oh, okay, I'll, I'll come up with this now. One of those, well, eight and nine have been used as a pair in this row. That must use eight or nine, because it has to add up to at least 15. So... Well, no, what's even more, actually, maybe the better thing to observe is this can only add up to a maximum of 16 now because it can't use both 9 and 8. So this adds up to either 15 or 16. It uses 1, 2, 3, 4 and either 5 or 6. It doesn't use 7, 8 and 9, which are now confined into this 2x2 two two box up here. That's interesting. What's that telling me? I don't know. Ah, I don't know. There's there's something operating here and I can't quite get at it. I mean, I f this wants to be pretty high. I don't think it wants to be six. What happens if it's six? That's one, two, three. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Um, ah, okay. This. Ah, oh, no. There could be a six on here. Bother. I was going to say, whatever this is, is forming an X-wing with something up here. Which is, oh, it's really interesting. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something going on there. We've still got to place seven, eight, and nine in this group. In this column, they can't be seven, eight, or nine. Where are seven, eight, and nine? Well... We've got, yeah, we've got to find homes for three of them in this orange segment. This one is not seven, eight, or nine, because it's going to add to at least three more. So now we're going to have to find homes for seven, eight, or nine in these three cells. And the exciting thing about that is one of them at least is going to have to go on a blue line. 
and it's at least a 7, and it's going to add to something else. And suddenly this cell has got to be at least 8 now to accommodate that. The one that goes on the blue line will not be 9, because it's going to add to something else. Which brings me back to my, my theorem, as I grandly called it. Um, so, 9 in this column can't be on a blue line. It's got to be in one of those cells. And now this one can't be 9. This is getting weirder and weirder. Um, but these two have to add up to 15 or more still. These, this group now needs a 1 on it because it's either 6, 7 or 8. We've still... oh! Or oh, it's almost got very interesting there because now this pair couldn't have a 1 on it. So you couldn't put an 8 in those cells. No, that's okay. So 8 is in one of these three cells in the column. This is weirder and weirder. Column 7 is, is a crazy column here. But I think this is still right. 8 can't be there, and it could never be there. 8 can't be there now because of the 1 that's on that line. Yeah, that's OK. So 8 is in one of these three cells, and now it's not here. And these now have a 2 on their line. This is going to carry on. This is going to iterate. Now that we can't put a 2 on this line, the 7 can't go on it either, because it would need a 1 or a 2 to go with. So now this is a 7, 8, 9 group. That is absolutely fascinating, brilliant, and bonkers. Now it's got better, because that 7, 8, 9 group means this cell is a 6. Now we know this is a 1, 2, 3 triple. <laughs> this has to be a 4, 5 pair. That's a nine. Look at these digits happening. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. That can't be a nine either. Now we've got nine. Let's just get rid of this orange. It's done its job. It wasn't really doing a job. That is one or two to make this line work. Oh, that is fabulous. Right. Now, six can't form an X-wing with one of those two. That's beautiful as well. Um, with one of those, one of, uh, cell from that two by two. What I'm trying to say is six is not in those cells by Sudoku or those cells because it would require a six to be in one of these, and we know it's not. In fact, let's do it this way. Six is in one of those two cells. These can't be a six. There is a six in one of these three cells, the importance of which is that this group of cells on this blue line now adds up to 16 and can't have a five in this group of cells has a 5 in. We now know these add up to 16, so we know that this pair is a 9 and a 7. Isn't that just an incredible way of working? I, I, it's so beautiful that I'm absolutely certain this is the solution path. I don't often say that. Now yellow has become 8. That's exactly what I wanted. We've got to put 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 to add up to 16 again on this group of cells. We can't put 6 on this line because it couldn't add up to 8. It would add up to at least 9. So we put it on this line, 6 and 2. This is now 1, 3, 4. This pair, and we, I looked at this before, this pair has to be at least 2 and 5. And in fact, 2 plus 5 won't work. Now, the first thing 2 plus 5 do is knock out 6 and 7. This also has had 8 knocked out. That's a 9. 2 and 5 won't work because 2 would have to repeat in the box. So that must be 2 and 6 with a 1 there. And that makes the 9 work. And that 1 comes out of this cell. Oh, this is brilliant. Um, 4 is definitely down here, so not in those. 4 must be in one of these two. Um, these are from 7, 8, and 9, because all of the other digits are impossible, thanks to this triple and this pair. That gives me a 5, 7, 8, 9 quadruple, in which 5 must be in that pair, so it's not over there. Now, 5, 7, 8, 9, so these are from 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the identity of this? Well, it's now not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 8, or 9, weirdly. It's 6 or 7. Thank you, Sudoku. Um, 
And this can't be 6 because of that 6. It's got to be at least 2, given 1, 2, 3, or 4 there, 6 or 7 here. So I'm going to have to write 2, 3, 4, 5 in. Oh, that 6 I hadn't noticed is looking across there. Sorry if you had to shout that at me. There is an 8 in one of those two cells. These are from 5, 7, and 9, and the top one can't be 9 because of the row. 8, 1, 3, 4, 8, 2, 6 here gives us a 5, 7, 9 triple at the top. That's a 7, 9 pair. That's a 5 because of the 7, 9 pair looking directly at it. Ah, looking directly at it, but also looking at these cells, which are now restricted to a maximum of 14, 8 and 6. And yet, I've suggested we might put a 9 onto this 4-cell line. Well, we can't now. The minimum a 9 would force this to be is 15, and this has a maximum of 14. So that is a 7. There is only one degree of freedom. This is either 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 4. And we've got a 1 and a 2 looking at that cell, which is therefore the 3 or the 4. This pair adds up to either 14 or 13. It must have an 8, and then either 5 or 6. Now, we've got... That is not a 6. That's 3 or 4. This is the 6 in the box, and that's not a 6. And that's not a 6. And neither of these are 9s, I've just noticed. And now we've got a 5, 7, 8 triple. These are from 1, 2, 3, 4, and definitely include a 4. Oh, yeah, and there's a 4 in one of these two, so that's not a 4. That's a 3. That's going to sort out the blue line in box 1. This is a 4, so this does add up to 14. It's an 8, 6 pair. We now know the order. Ah, oh, this is just glass in a glass. What a puzzle. 7 and 5 there, then 8 and eight nine at the top. That can't be 6, so we've placed 6 in the box. Now, we've got a 3 here, so they can't have a 3 in. This is 1 or 2, not 4, because 4 is definitely one of those two. Um, oh, that is all beautiful. Let's keep going if we can. Still haven't sorted out this yellow 8 that I pencil marked early doors. Um, there's a 3 in one of those cells, not very informative. Now, we'd better keep focusing on the fact that I still have to unwind some of these. Right, there, there's a 1, 2, 3 triple here, but the 1 has to be in those because it's not down here of that. So there's no 1 in this pair. That's a 2-4 pair. That becomes a 1-3 pair. This becomes a 2. That fixes 6 and 2. These don't have a 2 now. 2-4 pair makes this a 1. Takes 1 out of those cells. We've got a 5 up here somewhere in one of the top, top Johnnies. Um, this pair adds up to 9. It doesn't have a 2 on it. And it's not a 1-8 pair, because they both see that cell. It doesn't have a 2 on it because of this 2 pair, which put a 2 there. So it's either 3... No, it doesn't have a 6 on it. Neither cell can be a 6. So this is definitely a 4-5 pair. That's weird, but rather pretty again. I've got a 4-5 pair in row 8 now. Don't know what to do with that. One, three, six, nine. Ah, oh, this is so clever. Um, nine, seven, eight, six. Bit stuck for the rest. Okay, we're going to need to find something else. Still got that pair to resolve. I think, a, oh, and this pair. Is that worth looking at first or not? I don't know. There's a 6 in one of those two cells. Let's just try and do a bit of Sudoku first. 2 is not there because of Sudoku now. I don't know how long that's been available. Oh, that's getting a bit interesting. 
I want to say this now can't be a three or a four. That's not quite true. It can't. Oh, it's not true at all. This could be a three, four pair. Okay, in this column, ah, there's an eight, seven, nine pair, but seven has to be in one of those two. So we get six here. That's all it can be. It's kind of naked single. This one is eight or nine in the box, and that's forming a pair at the top of the column. Eight, nine, seven, six. No, it doesn't really do anything else. Right, six there, though, can't have three on its line, or it would repeat. If that's four or five, this is one or two. That's giving me a pair in the row, and also taking one and two out of this cell, We've got a three, four, five triple left in this box. Now, something has probably broken in one of these columns. Can't see what it is, though. Oh, look, nine, nine. That's probably been available a long old time. We get nine there. These are from a five, seven, eight triple. Um, that one couldn't be eight. These are from a three, three, five, seven triple, but I've got news on that from the four, five pair. This can't be five. Now, let's have a look at this row in a bit more detail. Two, four, five. I don't know. Six is in one of these two cells. I can see that forming an X wing with those two. Is this an 8172? Um, well, I don't know, but I'm going to think about it. It can't have a 6 on it, so it's not 6, 3. Oh, it can't have a 2 on it, because 2 is now in one of these cells in the box. So it's not 2, 7. So it's either 4, 5, which it can't be, because that would break this cell, and it also is deducible. It's 1, 8. That gives me an X-wing on 8s. That uses up the 8s for rows 5 and 6 and puts 8 up here. That was one of my original yellow colour that I don't need anymore. Let's get rid of yellow from that. And this is now not 8. It's 5 or 7. Um, now, what else did this 1-8 pair do? It put 1 in one of those two. It... One, eight, nine, two, six. It must do something else. What's going on here? Not, oh, one, two pair is looking at that cell. So that's the eight. That's the one. Then we get eight here. Seven on the blue line, which I can now finish off with a two. That's going to be very helpful. Two, four. I can place four in box six. This one is known. That's a three. So it's got one on its line. I don't know why my keys aren't working. There we go. That is a five. That's a three. This is now a one. And that isn't. Um, so across the middle, three, four, and five. Excuse me one second. I hope that was just one second for you. Um, five there is looking at a seven here. It's annoying when we're in the finish-up phase, because I kind of feel if I'd been a bit quicker, that disturbance wouldn't have come. Three, four, five, triple. That has to be a two at the top. Five there. Six and seven still to place. Um, and I don't know which is which there. Although I do know this top one can't be a two. I might as well write the six, seven pair in. Here, I can remove five. We've got a three, seven pair instead. This is four, five, nine, but I've got a four, five pair. Good. So I'm left with another four, oops, another four, five pair now. Uh, these four, fives are going to be resolved up here. Now, this is two, six, seven. That feels like it ought to be helpful. Now, it is helpful. I've got nine looking at that. So this one can't be a seven anymore. Sorry, I was meant to write two. I don't know what I'm writing. Just two or seven there. Uh, six, two, seven. Okay, I don't know how they 
play out yet. These don't have a two in, that's a three, four pair. That's gonna sort out some things at the top for me. Two, one, my arrow keys on this keyboard are very reluctant. If I press two of them at once, they don't do both things. They do neither thing, which is quite irritating. Uh, that can't be a nine. Now, where am I? Where am I? Five, four. I want to sort out five and four from the top somehow. One of those is a five. This is just Sudoku. That one can't be a five. That is from the very top of the grid. So this is a five. And that does sort out the four, five pair. Now I'm going to be able to get the fives and fours down at the bottom. There we go. Which three, I've just noticed, looking across there. Sorry if you've been shouting that. This is now a two, one pair that I can put in. Nine, two, one, five, four. We need three, six, seven, and eight. Eight. Why is that not immediately obvious to me down here? I think it should be. This is six or eight. Oh, there's three, four pair in the column. Five, three, four, seven, nine, one. This must be a naked eight then. That's how to do it. Okay. That's going to finish everything off. Nine, seven, eight. Nine in the corner. Eight. Let's go back up here. Six seven, a last three. No, we've still got some other threes to go, but this has become two. Uh, and now we've got a three, four. No, it's not a deadly pattern at all. It is a very finishable pattern in a very pretty puzzle indeed. Thank you, Celery. That's fun. 29 minutes. Keep on having puzzles that are almost exactly half an hour. And this is another one. And that I don't know, it is often a mark of a really classy puzzle, but I loved how this worked with column seven. It took me quite a while to find that, but it was so helpful once you started thinking about sevens, eights, and nines, especially in that column. Brilliant stuff. Hope the audio has improved. Oh, don't forget to have a look at Simon's puzzle today in case you've only watched mine. His is an extraordinary puzzle. Um, and uh, yeah, I recommend that highly. But also thank you for watching and uh, we hope to see you again tomorrow. Um, just have to move this. Bye for now.